In this lesson, we wanted to update our website and add in some JavaScript. Uh, so we want to make this clickable, this menu, and then actually show our menu and toggle that CSS property. And this can really easily be done within JavaScript. So JavaScript, uh, this is going to be uh, JavaScript, but we're going to be using some of the DOM components. And with JavaScript, uh, accessing the DOM is uh, the DOM essentially is what gets built by the browser and this is what we looked at earlier when we looked at our website and just want to get rid of this uh, and we looked at our website and our dev tools and we had this here where we've got properties we've got paragraphs and we've got a whole bunch of uh, these built-in functions built-in properties that are available on every single element and this is what the DOM is because this is the document object model which is created by the browser so the browser reads through the HTML code and renders out the DOM and then through JavaScript we have access to the DOM so what we want to do is update the display properties whenever our menu gets clicked on the small size menu so first of all we need to access it from JavaScript and we can do that by accessing setting up a property and then accessing that value of the property uh, so we can do something like we could do variables so we're going to set a variable and this is just going to contain that mini menu so you don't have to call it mini menu but we're just going to call it that uh, just for simplicity's sake so document get element by id and the element that we're trying to access is going to be mini menu and we're also going to set another variable because what we want to do is we want to get these additional elements so I want to get nav bar because I want to be able to access that one as well uh, open and close it so we can get nav bar and we're going to contain it within the object and then this is going to give us the ability to update properties. So now we just need to add in a listener, event listener for the mini menu. And first we're going to set up our listener here. So mini menu on click. And then we need to specify what we want to happen when it gets clicked. So we want to run a function when it gets clicked. And then this is the function that we want to run and we want to toggle navbar. So either we want to display it or we want to hide it. So let's take a look at this and just do navbar style display. And for now, let's just do a display of block. So we're going to update the display to be block and I'll see how this works out. So refresh it, and now when we click it, there's something it's not actually adding in the event listener, so let's take a look at that. I just realized I've got a space there, so that's probably why it's not working, so let's refresh that. And now when we click it, we're showing that, uh, so we need to also be able to hide it when we click it. Uh, so ultimately, instead of just doing block, I want to do a condition there to see what it is at, and if it's none, then it's going to be block. And if it's block, then it's going to be, uh, it's going to go to none. So we'll just take a quick check to see what the value, to see if this value is already equal to none. And if this is true, then it's going to switch to block. Otherwise, it's going to go to none. So let's see how this works out. So now I can click it. I can show it and hide it. And then obviously this menu would work the same way as it's always been working. So this is a really quick way, a really quick fix to add in a clickable nav bar. You could also do it on click here as well and just run that function. And of course you just need to pass in those parameters there. Uh, we can also take it like this because maybe this way might be a little bit, uh, a little bit better. So there's a lot of different ways to do the same thing here within JavaScript. Uh, so we can really uh, shrink down the amount of code that we're using here 
and we don't actually even have to identify it just do it on click like that so maybe this is a little bit easier to understand a little bit more straightforward so it's going to do the same thing so whenever it gets clicked it's going to fire off and open up the navigation menu uh, and we can see here that one of the problems that's going to happen though if we've got it closed and if we uh, shrink it uh, if we resize the screen then it's actually going to disappear so this is one of the inherent problems like everything will work properly if we're on our mobile device and we're clicking but if we're resizing the screen then we could run into some issues uh, so there are a number of different ways to do this so in the next lesson we're going to look at some alternatives as well so it's coming up